Namaskar, Swagatam. We would like to welcome you all on Ayush Samradhi's 444th milestone today. Six, sorry, 644th. I'm sorry for that. So now milestones are really non-considerable, but your love, your mentorship, your guidance, your support and contribution as speaker and participant is really unforgettable and I am thankful for that. Welcome, welcome Suhasji. Today after a long time, I would like to request you to communicate uh, uh, as speakers for April also because you are the resource person and our vice president of Ayush Samradhi of uh, South. So you are the great personality in South and really I am overwhelmed that you have supported this Ayush Samradhi like anything in these three years. Really grateful. Respected Vishnu Prasad Sharma ji, respected Agniyotri sir, respected Farke ji, Dinesh Kumar Rai ji. I am really grateful to you all that our journey is being continued and this inspiration can be viewed on YouTube at any time. So please circulate the YouTube link to our students, faculty, whoever it may be, because these are beneficial discussions. Previously, CME were conducted and only 20, 25 doctors were there and they were, we, uh, they were the audience in a closed room. But now digital technology has enabled us to communicate our sentiments to thousands of people. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining. Today is Autism Awareness Day. So we are celebrating that. Matter is not for celebration, but we are creating awareness for autism. Thank you very much. Swahas ji, Ashish ji, A.K. Dwedi ji. <coughs> now I would like to request Professor Vishnu Prasad Sharma ji, President Viswayarved Parshad, Assam and Northeast, ex-principal Guwahati Ayurvedic College, Welcome, sir. Welcome. Namaskar. Good evening to everybody. Respected, distinguished guests, eminent speaker, ladies and gentlemen. I, Professor Dr. Prasad Sharma, welcome all of you to this evening webinar on autism based care. Most important subject today we have so in this webinar, we have eminent speaker. I want to welcome Dr. Suhas Sethi, Principal KLE Sri BMK, Ayurved Mohammed Daloy, Bela Gavi. Namaskar and welcome you, sir, to this evening webinar. Next, I want to welcome Dr. Oshini Kumar Duvedi, Professor and Head SKRP Gujarati Homeo Medical College Indoor. Namaskar, sir, and welcome to this evening webinar. Once again, I welcome all the distinguished guests, eminent speaker, ladies and gentlemen, to this evening webinar on autism based care. So most important subject today we have, we are waiting to hear from the eminent speaker. Thank you, Namaskar. Over to Pavanji. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. For preamble, I would like to request Professor Vikki Agniyotriji and to invite after that Dr. Chwas Sethi, our beloved friend, Agniyotri, sir. Namaskar. Thank you, Professor Pavan Sharma ji. It's a great pleasure to see all these great dignitaries today again assembled to be here on my on our 644th uh, webinar in the same continuation. See, we are of the opinion and we belong to the fraternity where we think of Sarve Bhantu Sukhina. Our concept is always there that everybody, every human being, every creature, they should endure their life with comfort and ease. With all the tools and all the remedies, all the food, edibles, everything which is available to them. But when it becomes in a form of any disease that to belong to the nervous system or the whole of the physique, whole of the setup of the person in the family and 
nearby even rather the society itself becomes a uh, say problem uh, having any such type of element known as autism previously we were not knowing or we were not aware of this fact of this topic or this disease itself but now for last 20 years or more we have came across with the status that it also happens of course uh, in general it goes to the age sector when it is advancing but uh, no age group is in uh, means uh, forwarded in the sense that it cannot happen so we are here to listen a lot from our great learned distinguished guest speakers that uh, uh, what is the percentage over here uh, in india uh, suffering from this uh, peculiar type of disease and uh, what is the gender ratio along with the etiology factors of course the symptomatology and what may be management uh, uh, by the ayush system of course or if at all it will be a boon if we develop any sort of do's and don'ts and tips for the awareness that the autism can be avoided so our distinguished guests are here uh, to give such knowledge to our platform so we really by heart welcome them and invite them to please come and share your views and knowledge thank you sir and again welcome and over to pavan sharma ji namaskar thank you sir thank you very much now i would like to invite my friend brother dear dynamic director of kle velagam institute really a great institute i was fortunate to visit that recently thank you thank you dr swat kumar sethi ji welcome and now stage is yours we are eager to listen a very good evening to you all sir uh, most respected pavan sharma sir uh, most senior faculties dr vishnu prasad sharma sir professor agnihotri sir uh, dr dinesh kumar sharma sir and uh, all the senior faculties and uh, dear colleagues friends and all the aspirants of uh, this wonderful initiative which has been taken by the independent research ethics society coming under the ayush samriddhi which has really uh, created a benchmark uh, being the one of the most popular webinar series and uh, we should really appreciate uh, dr pavan kumar sharma sir for his wonderful efforts uh, in probably bringing people together and creating a platform to share their views so that it's not only the people participate but also who listen to this get benefited it's a very noble cause and uh, we on behalf of uh, all the organizing committee would like to really appreciate uh, pavan sir for this wonderful initiative and we'll be very happy to be associated and extend all possible support uh, to this uh, noble thought and uh, it's always a, been a great honor and pleasure being associated with a very uh, you know uh, people because most of the time it is for the science that we try to do this because there is no other uh, monetary benefit of carrying out such long term programs but it is for the science for the society for the people for ayurveda and the entire ayush fraternity that this noble uh, cause has been taken up by the learned scholars and it's uh, really appreciable and it's always a great moment, moment of joy for all of us to be associated with such a unique program and uh, we we would like to wish that this program carries on and uh, as this is the 644th webinar series i think in days to come we we'll shortly have a very milestone of celebrating 1000 episodes of this webinar very shortly and uh, i am sure with the great support and the leadership and the guidance of the senior teachers we we'll definitely will be able to achieve this great milestone which will be really a very big a milestone in the field of uh, the uh, knowledge sharing at the global platform coming to the topic that has been allocated as we know today is a uh, autism awareness day and uh, as you know if you look at the uh, practice uh, of ayurveda we come across various patients of autism and other neurodevelopmental disorders in the present scenario where they are really looking for the help from ayurveda and other alternative sources so that 
they can get some improvement in the quality of life of the child. So this has been a great challenge for everybody, a great challenge for the society, and especially the parents and the uh, caregivers who really have a very big uh, emotional turmoil because of the suffering of the child. So it's a really important that we could extend all possible help. So though we may not be able to cure this condition, but definitely we could definitely improve the quality of life and definitely give a best possible care. So if you look, look at the whole disease scenario, you no, know, it is a multifactorial condition which need to be assessed because there is genetic predisposition, there is environmental factors, dietary factors, and there are multiple factors which comes across. So that is why the approach also should be very holistic and comprehensive because it is not just medicines or some uh, panchkarma which will help, but the entire training, training to the child, training to the mother, the family, and everybody, uh, like you know, we uh, like the speech therapy, the occupational therapy, physiotherapy, you know, all the supportive therapies, yoga, meditation, all these are equally important. And that is why if you look at the uh, condition and how the people are or how the child suffers, we cannot just have a, you know, a, a single group approach or single medicine approach or single therapy approach in autism. We need to have a very, very comprehensive and holistic. Other important challenge is the duration of the, the treatment that you need to be given. It is not like a, a condition like a fever, cold, cough that you give medicine for a week or 10 days or a few days and the disease gets totally uh, remiss. But it, it, it's like, no, we always say that it is not like a, a sprint in case of autism. It's like a very big marathon that we are trying to go about in cases of uh, the condition. So that is why uh, both the, the patient as well as the attender parents need to be very patient, uh, need to be very committed and need to be very dedicated uh, in taking care of uh, the sufferings of the child. So this is a very big challenge and I'm sure uh, with the help of Ayurveda, uh, with the ancient wisdom, definitely we are able to improve the quality of life of the child, provided they are identified at the early age, they are given all the best comprehensive care uh, for the child and taking care of the basic aspects like uh, in terms of their agni, in terms of their ojas, in terms of their manas in terms of all the dhatus that are need to be addressed. So if we have this and if we're able to give a proper training in all the you know, aspects of cognition, uh, psychomotor skills, effective uh, domains, we definitely would be able to help the child and improve the overall problem of the child. So with this uh, basic background or with this basic introductory notes, I would like to uh, present to you a um, few of my thoughts in the area of autism, which always has been fascinating, which always has been keeping me interested in my practice. And uh, I'm sure uh, we can have a lot uh, to help uh, for the people suffering with autism through Ayurveda and other uh, traditional system like uh, yoga, homeopathy, etc. So always uh, uh, there has been a question you know, like what is ADHD, what is autism and what is the relationship between these two. And if you look at the practice also, we see that both these disorders frequently co-occur. Like the presence of ADHD within the autistic spectrum disorders is up to 80%, 30 to 80%. Whereas the presence of autistic spectrum disorders within ADHD is 20 to 50%. Because there's a strong overlap of the genetic factors between attention deficit hyperactivity disorders and the autistic spectrum disorders. So that is why we always see that no, they, are, they are always, there is a co-morbid existence of these two conditions. And sometimes it is also very challenging to clinical differentiate whether it's a case of autism or whether it's a case of ADHD. Though based on their focus problem or based on their focus cognitive um, exhibition they are sub separated but 
for a general practitioner, definitely it's a great challenge for, to differentiate between these two conditions because both these neurodevelopmental disorders are having the same phenotypic similarities. So in this today's session, we're going to talk about some of the basic concepts, both from the modern as well as Ayurvedic concepts about autism. We're going to see how to diagnose the conditions, what are the different scales that we can use and how we can approach in Ayurveda also, and what are the possible uh, uh, treatment options that we have in case of the medicines, therapies, like what are different panchakarmas that can be done and what are the different uh, uh, herbs that can be used, what are the other supporting uh, management strategies that we need to follow and we are going to conclude with some important take-home messages. As you all know that autism are the neurodevelopmental and the neuropsychiatric disorders of unknown etiology. If you look at the exact cause, it is still not very clear or not very clear known. Because one thing which has definitely been able to, we have been able to study is that it has a very strong genetic basis. It is directed in the childhood, but which continues in the adulthood also. Like I think uh, this month, 18th, again, we have the uh, autist, adulthood autistic disorders and its awareness where it continues in the, the adulthood and uh, it really causes the deficits in the overall development of the child. So basically, what are the areas that it affects autism? Basically, it's uh, the processing, the attention span, the basic social behaviors and their ability for the interaction with the environmental learning. So these are the important areas. And we're going to talk in detail about all these factors in the upcoming slides. As Professor Agniwati Sir was mentioning about what is the impact of this in India and what is the prevalence of male and female, uh, I would like to bring to the notice of all the audience that India is a home for about more than 10 to 12 million people suffering with autism. It's a huge number and that is why probably we have a great responsibility and a great potentials in Ayurveda to help autism. The prevalence rate is between 6 to 10 percent and it is more common in males as compared with the females as per different epidemiological as well as clinical studies. So uh, there's a beautiful way of defining autism. It is always said that autism children are always unique, totally interesting and sometimes mysterious. Probably this is a, a very nice way of defining how a child of autism will be. Because he will be very, very different, no? very special, very uniquely exhibiting himself. And he has his own interest. He is in his own world and sometimes do not have any social interaction. And sometimes it also becomes a very, very big mystery why the child is suffering or why the child is behaving like this. It is very difficult to understand the child. Basically, autism comes under a very big umbrella of autism spectrum disorders, which is commonly called as ASD, which has various clinical uh, presentation in the form of autistic disorders, asparagus disorders, childhood disintegrative disorders, Ritz disorders, and the pervasive developmental disorders not otherwise specified. If you look at the main uh, problem of the autistic, autistic child, what are the main areas which affects the autistic child? The main thing is that there is an impairment in socialization. They're not able to connect with the people around them. They're not able to know, know where they are. And that is why sometimes they have difficulty in communication. Sometimes they will scream, they will shout, they will cry. And very importantly, they'll be having some restrictive behavior, like moving of the hands, touching the face, well, pointing the fingers, etc. So these are the basic triads of the autism. The restrictive as well as repetitive behavior, uh, impairment in the communication, as well as impairment in the socialization. Again, uh, a few of them dominates in few of the clinical presentation. So uh, to a, a very easy way of understanding some of the common uh, signs and symptoms of autism that They'll be using inappropriate playing uh, toys to play with. Sometimes they'll be having inappropriate laughing and crying. They'll be sometimes hyperactive or sometimes they'll be very passive. They'll be not able to relate to others. 
and very very importantly we can always observe that sometimes they'll be very over sensitive or under sensitive to the sounds a little bit of sound the, patient, the child gets totally irritated they also have sometimes very strange attachment to some objects some leaves some flowers some fruits some toys etc they have a very poor speech or sometimes they have lack of speech they have difficulty doing their routine activities or dealing sometimes they won't they don't want to have some changes sometimes they have some toys or something kept they want to keep it in the same place and sometimes the most risky thing is sometimes they have they have lack of awareness of the danger because they're in their own world they are not able to understand the uh, severity of the problem and they are sometimes at the risk of being at the danger level so if you look at the like how we can identify the early signs in infants so the top five uh, signs which are being able to uh, they are present and how we can see so though they say that it, we can identify between 18 to 24 months of the child but if, even if we closely monitor the child we can identify the early symptoms of autism within a year because if there is unusual visual fixation there is abnormal repetitive behavior, lack of age appropriate sound development, and delayed intentional communication. And if there is decreased interest in interaction. So, if this is present, probably there is a, uh, these are the very important uh, signs, and we are able to have an uh, early diagnosis. So, how do you diagnose or when do you do you screen for patients suffering with autism? As per the American Academy of Pediatrics, uh, as, as I said, ideally, we can try to identify these symptoms when the child is between 18 to 24 years. But as I said, we can, if you look at the previous slides, no, we can see that there are also some early signs of in infants where we can identify within one year. But if we always would like to screen, if there is a concern by a parent or a caregiver or a pediatrician, for the social development of our communication, or if there is a sibling with autism or ADHD, which greatly increases the risk of the child being suffering. So what are the common diagnostic tools which we can use for diagnosing or confirming the diagnosis of autism? As you know, for diagnosis, we commonly use the DSM classification, which is the Di Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Behavioral Disorders, version five. We also have some of the diagnostic tool like M-chart revised, the CARS, which stands for Childhood Autism Rating Scale, and ABC, which refers to Autism Behavioral Checklist. So looking at the DSM criteria for autism spectrum disorders, uh, it should have fulfill A, B, C, and D, which means that there is persistent deficit in social communication, restricted repetitive patterns of behavior, interest, or activities there are symptoms must be present in the early childhood and but not become fully manifest until social demands exceed limit capacity and above all the symptom together limit or impair the everyday functioning if you look at the m chart which is called as a modified checklist for autism in toddlers which is has a revived version it's a two stage parent reporting screening uh, which can uh, identify the risk level and which can categorize the risk level as low, medium, and high risk child. So what are the questions that they are commonly asked? Especially, there are some basic questions, like these are the questions which are commonly asked, and the parent is asked to reply as yes or no. Like, if you point at something across the room, does your child aim at that? Have you ever wondered if your child might be deaf? Does your child make unusual finger movements near his or her eyes? Does your child point at with one finger to ask for something or to get help? Is your child interested in other children? Does your children respond when you call him or her name? So if any of these symptoms are presenting, and if you say that there is yes or no in few of the questions randomly, then it's a sign that you should definitely take care of these children and you should be able to focus on them. So let's look at how Ayurveda approaches such autistic disorders or autism. As you know, this is a multifactorial problem where the, the child and the mother gets indulged in etiological factors. There's vitiation of both 
the sharirika and mansika doshas, especially vitiating the manas and causing this particular problem. As you know, uh, vata is related with enthusiasm and activity, pitta related with intellect and happiness, and kapha related with the strength and the immunity. So all of them are equally responsible in the patient suffering with autism. So we generally correlate with the uh, unmada, and to be very specific, the kafaja unmada and ADHD is generally correlated with vataja unmada, the clinical spectrum of its understanding, and also a little bit of understanding from vata vyadi also. So that is why probably the principles of vata vyadi as well as the unmada, and especially in autism, the kafaja unmada, where the stimulating therapies are to be uh, undertaken, and uh, basically the eight factors are the one which gets. Uh, deranged in case of uh, autism, like there is Manavibrahma, like mental confusion, Buddhi Vibrahma, impaired intelligence, Sanya Jnana Vibrahma, the impaired consciousness, altered responsiveness, the Smriti Vibrahma, the impaired memory, the Bhakti Vibrahma, lack of desire, this is also very commonly seen, the Shila Vibrahma, inappropriate mannerism or behavior, the Chesta Vibrahma, the abnormal psychomotor activities, and Achara Vibrahma, which is impaired socialization skills and unable to follow the commands. So if you look at the understanding of <clears throat> this particular disease, we can say that there's a specific cause, specific etiology, specific clinical manifestation, specific manifestation, and specific diagnosis and treatment. There are various causes which has been attributable. As I said, it's not as a single factor which really contributes to autism. It's a multi multifactorial diseases contributing, like uh, basically we can classify as prenatal, natal and postnatal causes where there are like uh, genetic causes. There are some causes which happens during the pregnancy, the care of the mother, the psychological factors, the diet, etc. And postnatal also the care that is taken during the perpetual period becomes very, very vital in the development of autism disorders. So basically, it is evaluating or analyzing the cause, the analyzing or classifying the symptomatology, and probably making a, a ground protocol treatment for the management of autism. As I said, it can be uh, linked or correlated with Kafaja Unmada, because if you look at the symptoms of Kafaja Unmada as, as autism, like, like to stay in one place, sometimes silasive, less talkative, sometimes hyperactive, less mobility, drooping of the saliva or running nose. There is eating disorders, limiting for loneliness. There is uh, disliking for cleanliness, bathing, etc. So we look at the elements of pathogenesis or the samprapti ghatakas to be considered. The dosha, as I said, the tridosha, mainly kapha dosha, the rajas and tamas. Dusha are raj rajas, Manas, Ojas, the Srotas, the Manovaha, Bhuttivaha, Sanyavaha, the Nidanas, as I said, the Bija Dushti, the Adhishthana, Sridaya and Manas, the Madhima Roga Marga, and there is Manovayapara and the Sharira Cheshta which are affected, and all the Ashtavibrahmas, the Unmadas have been seen as the Rupas. So if we look at the, the treatment strategies that need to be done, like we can classify them as both Dravya Bhuta as well as Adravya Bhuta. The Dravya Bhuta, we can use various types of uh, Panchakarma, Shodhana, Shamana. And we also can use various types of Adravya Bhuta Chikitsa in the form of Devaya Pasha Chikitsa as well as Sattvaja Chikitsa. Especially in terms of the Shodhana, especially though like acute Omana or Virechana may not be done, but definitely the, uh, the Nitya Virechana or Mridu Virechana, Koshta Shodhana can be done using Avipatikara Churna or the Trivatleha, etc., in children, and especially the use of a uh, Bhai Chikitsa like Abhyanga, Shirodhara, Shiro Abhyanga, uh, in some cases, uh, Shiro Pichu, and very, very uh, importantly are the Basti line of treatment and other therapies like uh, uh, Pindasveda, like Shastika Shali Pindasveda, or Abhyanga, Lepa, Upanaha, they're all beneficial in the mind, especially when it comes to the Basti. We can definitely think of the Brahmana Basti, Yapana Basti, Matra Basti, like Kalyanaka Girta, Kshirabala, etc., can be used for Matra Basti. And they are very useful in the management or improving the 
quality of life, especially in terms of the cognitive domain as well as psychomotor domain. So we look at the uh, probably, as I said, the the pathogenesis or how some property and some property return can be planned. There is definitely a, a BJ dushti. Uh, there is the chances of the deeds of the previous life. There is also the time as well as garbo bhavas linked to the manifestation of autism, uh, which is expressed as the uh, lack of socialization, communication, etc. So we look at the planning of the treatment that can be done in case of autism. If you look at the very complex uh, sampratti of this particular diseases, we are able to understand that we need to address both sharika and mansika doshas. We can use yukti pasha chikitsa like deepana, pachana, shodhana, brahmana. We also need to do shiro shodhana, manas shodhana. And we also can need to have a, a choice of the satvaja chikitsa both for the child and parent. We also need to have a, a good selection of the choice of the drugs. So uh, based on the experiences, few of the drugs which are commonly practiced in cases of autism includes a whole lot of list of kashayas, churna, taila, gratha, and leha. Like kashaya, very commonly, like the drakshadi kashaya, kalyanaka kashaya, maha kalyanaka kashaya. Again, you can make the choice based on the symptoms also. Like if it is hyperactivity is there, then you can go with kalyanaka kashaya. If there is lack of initiation, then maha kalyanaka kashaya. If there is lack of communication, mahatikta kashaya. We can also do if there is lack of speech, like uh, vacha or the katfala can be used for the stimulating the speech. If you have the churnas, which are commonly used, especially the like single medicines as well as compound like amlaki churna, ashwagandha, avipati churna, uh, yeshtimadhi churna, etc. If you have the tailas, which can be used for abhyanga, like shirabala taila, bala taila, bala garuchya taila, and the grita, which can be used internally, like Ashwagandha Grita, Kushmanda Swarasa Grita, again, again, very good for the developmental disorders, like Samvardhana Grita, Jivanadi Grita, Kalyanaka Gritas, and even the Leha, like Kalyanaka Leha, Amlaki Leha, Ramlaki Rasayana, Kushmanda Rasayanas, they all are very good supportive therapists. So the most important thing is always try to take care about the, the Deepana Pachana, because sometimes if you just try to give some Deepana Pachana, like Ayupati Karachuna or Aragya Varthi Nivati, Trikatu, etc. That itself for 10 days, if you give, this is a lot of changes in the child. And later on, followed by some Brahmana therapies can be done. Uh, single herbs, there are plenty of single herbs like Brahmi, etc. Like Ashwagandha is again one of the very, very popularly uh, used. Uh, Very popularly used uh, uh, conditions, so we are able to help them. And especially like Brahmi, Manduka Parni, Vacha, Yashtimadu, uh, they are all very beneficial. A lot of studies have been done for its anxiolytic uh, effect, antidepressants effects, and also uh, the memory promoting effects, the cognitive promoting effects, and nootropic effects, uh, the antioxidant effects of these drugs have been studied. Especially, there have been uh, studies where they are saying that few of the mantras, like Mrtunjaya Mantra, uh, Gayatri Mantra, Vishnu Sahasranama, Hanuman Chalisa, if they are being played, uh, there's definitely a lot of overall development of the child. And this has uh, been done, even a lot of music therapies and the, the vibration of these sounds have been tested in both animal models as well as in clinical models. Especially when it comes to psychology, it's again like more than the child initially. It is more of a training to the parents, uh, which is very, very vital. And that is where probably the psychology techniques like Manaso, Jnana, Vijnanam, Dhairis, Pratis, Samadhi, Vihi is very, very vital. We are, we are trying to create awareness of the problem, educating the parent as well as the patient, the moral boosting techniques. So making the child to memorize, distract from the distractible things and teaching manners and behaviors, engaging in yoga and meditation are very, very vital in the overall development. So this, all the five techniques God is mentioned in Charaka Sutrasthana has been, can be adopted in the management of autism disorders. So this is very, very important that it is not just the, the medicines or the Panchakrama treatment, but also other uh, therapies which have been found to be very beneficial 
in the management of autism, like the sensory integration therapy, the auditory integration therapy, the music therapy, the dietary intervention, nutrition supplements, yoga, then as I said, speech therapy, occupational therapy, applied behavior analysis. All these are very, very vital and that we try to combine all of them and try to be able to give the therapies. So even also the, the preventive strategies like Swana Bindu Prashana or Swanamrita Prashana, they have been found to be very, very beneficial where such techniques or uh, no, such human uh, promoting modalities can be done. And in the overall early uh, reduction in the symptoms can be achieved by using such therapies. So the, as I said, the sensory integration therapy is where you are trying to give the different stimulation to different uh, motor organs. See, again, the child can sometimes have some dominance of the Mahabhutas and some the motor organs can be stimulated. So this is what we try to use them in different as, aspects. Especially the sensory integration therapy uh, is based on like, you know, you're trying to give a sense of touch, like the brushing the body and also a sense of sound by using toys, games, computers, music, etc. So this combination of the touch and uh, the, the sound as well as the, especially the uh, different uh, uh, application is very, very vital. So there's also something called as auditory integration therapy, uh, where it consists of a prescribed amount of time spent every day. Uh, there's a recording that you can, you can record some, you no know, like uh, some uh, sotras, some mantras can be recorded and specifically it can be used. There are also some of the uh, techniques like brain tap techniques are av available, which has pre-recorded musics, which are available and based on the diseases specific and based on the different faculty or different conditions, they can be utilized. I, uh, it needs some training regimen, like two sessions of 30 minutes per day, the gap of three hours for 10 days. Like the child will listen through this headphone to a program, specially filtered and modulated music with wild frequency ranges. The most important thing is the dietary intervention. There has been a lot of studies saying that the gluten-free, casein-free diet is commonly advised and some nutritional supplements like vitamin B6, magnesium, omega-3 fatty acids. But basically, you know, I strongly feel that it is the, the, the local foods, the natural foods, the traditional foods, which are said to be very, very beneficial in cases of uh, uh, with very good information. So apart from this, uh, the most important thing is there are some pediatric yoga sessions specifically designed for the child uh, and especially for the children with autism and special needs. So there are some specialized yoga therapy that we try to conduct. We also do some packages called as OGES package where we try to combine the diet, yoga, meditation, etc. based on their age and based on their uh, severity of the problems. See, there is, sometimes you need to understand uh, which type of therapy works because all the patients do not uh, accept or sometimes uh, some relaxation techniques are more required for water dominant condition. Some stimulating type of therapies are required if there is cuffer dominant. Some soothing type of therapies are required if it is pitta dominant. So always it is need to be having a little bit of customized, personalized approach is very, very important. So to conclude, uh, the austerity, Autistic spectrum disorders is a manasika vyadi. So we consider under the broad heading of umada so that we can treat them based on the dosha that are involved. Uh, though uh, dominantly it is a kapha dominant conditions, so we need to use the stimulating type of therapies. The selection of drugs are definitely uh, based on the, the dosha of dominance. Then it is not just a disease, but this is caused by the genetic factors so that's the reason why it cannot be cured, but definitely we can help the child to get fit into the society and improve the quality of life. Of course, Satvaja Chikitsa, both for the more than, more than the child, for the parents are very, very important or any caregivers who are associated because sometimes it can cause emotional exertion or emotional problem so that it is very, very important that you take care of the conditions. So long-term treatment training at every uh, conditions are very, very vital in this particular conditions. Again, a lot of research has been done to summarize 
a few of the uh, researchers like the integrated approach to yoga uh, therapy and autism spectrum disorders, the meta-analysis of randomized control trials on cognitive effects of Bacopa monori extract, the Bacopa monori uh, ameliorates the behavioral alteration and oxidative markers in sodium valproate induced autism in rats. So such many studies have been done and there are some encouraging results which are available. And definitely when we try to look at, at a very uh, complex conditions with a very holistic and comprehensive uh, approach, if we can do, I think definitely we'll be able to help the conditions, help people. And uh, I, I'm very sure uh, and there is a there is a promising uh, hope from Ayurveda in the management of autism disorders. So I would like to thank once again Pawan Sharma sir and the entire team with this particular quote that a child with autism is not ignoring you. They are simply waiting for you to enter their world. So this is the message that I would like to give because they are their own world. We cannot sometimes expect them to come to our world we can make some efforts or modification to enter into their world, help them so that along with the other therapies and treatment, we can definitely help the child suffering with autism. So with these few words of uh, uh, my experiences and few of the literatures available and some of the research updates, I'd like to once again thank On Sharma sir and the entire team for these wonderful opportunities. And I'm, if there are any questions or anything that you need to uh, elaborate, I'll be very happy to do so. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Swarajit. Thank you very nicely explained. Excellent. Excellent. Agnayotri, sir. Namaskar. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Professor and Dr. Swarajit. Really, you very, very nicely and very justifiedly with all details uh, touch the areas related with the happening of autism as such right from the very beginning, even right from the prenatal time. You have touched all very expected uh, sites and also managed to some extent the treatment part from Ayush, especially from Ayurveda. Considering that it is a kafaj uh, unmad, so it can be treated in that lines. And uh, single drug therapy all the time and moreover, Coordination in between the yoga, satta vijaya, devapashya, chikitsa, and, and, and uh, socialization. The importance is that parents are supposed to mix with them how much they can along with the, some social uh, dear and near friends. That will lead a lot. Meanwhile, I just saw in the chat box that Sanjay Trivedi has mentioned that he has treated two cases with the music therapy. It is always a very good information that uh, music is going to roll and it is just uh, uh, re reattesting your information that it will, um, uh, how we can approach th at the mental status level of the sufferer. And that will also affect in the same manner. Thank you so much for such a elaborate uh, presentation. Thank you. Namaskar. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Swaji, join us and help me April ke webinar plan. Mein help kijiye, please. Sure, sure. sure. I want to invite new talents. Karna Bilkul, sir. I will definitely very Aap happy. Log mere daily friend se ab annual friend mat ho jaiye. Alok Sharma bhi jud chuke hain. Unka hi bhot bhot swagat hai. Humare purane saathi hain. I think uh, Dr. Dr. Padke sir has something to add. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is telling it. Sir, uh, let me congratulate you and I am very happy that today I made a point to attend your uh, you know, session. Earlier, I have attended your one of your session with Sitaram or with pharmacy series where I also spoke and I'm very happy that I am attending your session again. So again, thank you to Dr. Pawan sir for uh, repeatedly calling me and making me uh, my, you know, come. My and pleasure. My, sir, so coming pleasure. to the question, uh, you have already treated several cases of uh, autic, autistic uh, children. So have we ever uh, tried to uh, find out what are their prakriti? Because can we then have some correlation with the prakriti of these cases vis-a-vis -vis to modern, uh, you know, observation, number one. Number second, I also... Sorry. 
we, we will keep these things this discussion at the completion and, of our okay. Okay, okay. next week is also in uh, just to wait and we have to attend the second one and i we do hope that what it is and will be with us sure sure i mean mata ashish padke ji se ashish padke ji ke expert comment ki bhi acha karunga prarthna karunga lekin i hope i hope uh, i am not interrupting i hope dr ak dwedi homeopathic really? expert has joined by name of iphone i hope is it dr ak dwedi ji am i audible to you mm. yes yes audible you are very good good and we were just uh, making a doubt whether you are or somebody else na 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 are nahi ji aapka doubt garbad kaise ho sakta hai bhai aapke darshan nahi ho rahe दर्शन हो जाएंगे तुरंत ही हो जाएंगे <laughs> मैंने आप ही के लिए फड़के सर से बाद मिलेंगे जी वेरी रिनाउंड होम्योपैथिक एक्सपर्ट इन इंदौर एंड डीलिंग विद ऑटिज्म आल्सो तो वेलकम वेलकम नमस्कार वाव सभी को नमस्कार नमस्कार जी नमस्कार पवन शर्मा जी आप कितना सारा काम करते रहते हो ये तो मेरा मन की खुशी है काम तो दिन में करता हूँ <laughs> <laughs> बहुत बहुत अच्छी बात है सबसे अच्छी बात तो ये है कि अभी आपका जो प्रीवियस स्पीकर था उन्होंने बहुत सारा मेरा काम हल्का कर दिया मतलब इतना अच्छा उन्होंने ऑटिज्म पे बोला बहुत अच्छी तैयारी के साथ बोला उन्होंने पैथोजेनेसिस भी बताया और डायग्नोसिस के टूल्स भी बताए बहुत ही अच्छा बताया He is very renowned मनोरोग विशेषज्ञ इन साउथ इंडिया He is director of KLE Belgaum, very big okay. college and hospital. Neck accredited. He did he did a great job. क्योंकि मेरे पास regular autism के patient आते रहते हैं autism और AD ADHD दोनों तरह के cases आते हैं और मैं आपको एक बहुत ही खास बात बताना चाहता हूँ कि मेरे पास autism लेकर के डॉक्टर्स भी आते हैं एलोपैथिक डॉक्टर्स आते हैं उनके बच्चों को भी ऑटिज्म होता है तब वो हमारे पास आते हैं अभी वो जो प्रीवियस स्पीकर थे वो बात कर रहे थे कि आयुष में हम काफी अच्छा कर सकते हैं तो कर सकते नहीं हम कर रहे हैं बहुत अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं हालांकि कुछ पार्ट उन्होंने मेरा ले लिया है उन्होंने हनुमान चालीसा और दूसरी बातें बताया मैं एक बहुत ही सिंपल सा आपको बताना चाहता हूँ कि मैं काफी सारे लोगों को महामृत्युंजय मंत्र जाप करने की सलाह देता रहता हूँ ये हमारे होम्योपैथी से अलग जरूर है लेकिन महामृत्युंजय मंत्र का हमने कई स्टेज पर देखा है बच्चों पे बहुत अच्छा रिजल्ट आता है बच्चों का कंसंट्रेशन बहुत अच्छा हो जाता है नींद बहुत अच्छी आती है अभी कल मेरे पास एक गायनेकोलॉजिस्ट का फोन था उनको नींद आना बंद हो गई थी मेनोपाजल एज में है वो तो उन्होंने नींद की दवाई खाना चालू कर दिया था उनको जब मैंने होम्योपैथी ट्रीटमेंट दिया मेनोपॉजल के जो सिम्टम्स थे उसके आधार पर तो उन्होंने जो उनका स्लीपिंग पीस ले रही थी उसको जस्ट हाफ डोज में कर दिया मात्र पंद्रह दिन के होम्योपैथी ट्रीटमेंट में तो मैंने कल उनको सलाह ही दिया कि आप महामृत्युंजय का जाप करना चालू कर दीजिए तो आपकी बाकी की बची हुई हाफ टेबलेट भी बंद हो जाएगी अगर मैं ए की बात करूं तो ए में क्या होता है कि जैसे हमारा जो होम्योपैथी साइंस है हम लोग इंडिविजुअल और इनडिफरेंट जैसा कि डॉक्टर साहब बात कर रहे थे इनडिफरेंट जो हमारा ये ए का चाइल्ड होता है वो बिल्कुल इनडिफरेंट होता है और हमारा जो बेसिक साइंस ये है होम्योपैथी हम इंडिविजुअलाइजेशन पे बात करते हैं हम इनडिफरेंट पे बात करते हैं तो उसको पूरा ए में हमको सपोर्ट मिलता है आप देखेंगे कि बच्चा आएगा बच्चा जैसे क्लिनिक में एंटर होता है और वो जिस तरीके से क्लिनिक में बैठता है जब पेरेंट्स उसके बारे में बात करते हैं वो कुछ भी हमारे टेबल से उठा लेता है बस उसी को वो खेलता रहता है या कुछ करते रहता है हम बार बार उसको अगर बुलाएंगे या उसको कुछ आवाज देंगे तो भी वो उसी में लगा रहता है दैट इज द वेरी क्लिनिकल डायग्नोस्टिक टूल्स जिसको हमको कहीं और ढूंढने जाना ही नहीं पड़ता है कई बार वो पेरेंट्स उसकी तारीफ करते हैं कि उनका जो बच्चा है उसका माइंड तो बहुत अच्छा है लेकिन उसको कोई चीजें जो है वो एक्सेप्ट नहीं करता है आप देखेंगे कि पेरेंट्स का बहुत 
कॉमन सी कंप्लेन होती है कि बच्चा मेरी बात पे ध्यान नहीं देता है बच्चा अपने में लगा रहता है टीवी देखते रहता है या मोबाइल से खेलते रहता है आजकल ये एक समस्या हो गई कि बच्चा मोबाइल से खेलता रहता है उसके पेरेंट्स उसको आवाज देते हैं या उससे पानी मांग ले या खुद के लिए उसको उठने का बोलेंगे तो वो उठता नहीं है तो इस तरीके से बड़ा मिक्स्ड सिम्टम हमारे पास आते हैं एडीएसडी और ऑटिज्म लेकर के तो मैं जो आपको बताना चाहता हूँ कि होम्योपैथी कैसे हेल्प कर सकती है उसमें होम्योपैथी में ऑलरेडी हमारे पास सिम्टम्स दिया हुआ है कि जैसे बच्चा खेल रहा है तो खेलते खेलते वो अपने दोस्तों के से अलग हो करके कोई पत्थर लेकर के किसी चीज को मारने लगता है या किसी चीज और अलग चीज में वो बिजी हो जाता है उसके जो फ्रेंड्स हैं उसे वो अलग हट के कुछ अलग करने लगता है तो दैट इज द बराइटा कार बेराइटा कार नामक हमारे पास एक मेडिसिन है जिसमें ये लक्षण दिया हुआ है हालांकि उस समय जो हमारी मटेरिया मेडिकल लिखी गई थी दो साल पुरानी बात उसमें ऐसा ए करके या ऑटिज्म करके नहीं लिखा हुआ है लेकिन जब हम उसको इनडिफरेंट के साइन एंड सिम्टम से देखते हैं तो हमको काफी कुछ हेल्प मिल जाता है तो देर इज अ मेडिसिन दैट इज बराइटा कार और एक मेडिसिन है दैट इज सीना सीना एंड चाइना चाइना अलग दवाई है और सीना अलग दवाई है तो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द सीना सीना जो पेशेंट है वो क्या करता है कि उसको भूख लगती है या वो रोने लगता है एक्सप्रेस नहीं करता है केवल रोना रोना करता है या फिर वो कुछ तोड़ फोड़ करता है तो दैट इज द कैमो मिला कैमो मिला सीना बेराइटा कार और अगर माइंड को बूस्ट करने की बात करें तो हमारे पास कैलकेरिया कार्ब है देन अनादर मेडिसिन इज कैलकेरिया फास्ट कैलकेरिया फास्ट का मुझे काफी अच्छे रिजल्ट मिले हैं थोड़ा सा लंबा ट्रीटमेंट जरूर लेना पड़ता है बच्चों को पर जब लंबा ट्रीटमेंट हम लेते हैं तो हम देखते हैं कि बच्चों में काफी चेंजेस आ गए हैं हम पेरेंट्स को ये एडवाइस देते हैं कि बच्चों को बिना बताए हुए उनका आप वीडियो बनाते जाइए और हम जब वीडियो कई सारे आठ दस वीडियो देखते हैं तो हमको उसमें डिफरेंस फील आने लगता है तो इस तरीके से होम्योपैथी में हम लोग काफी अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं हालांकि मैं थोड़ा सा लीक से हट के काम करता हूँ होम्योपैथी के साथ मंत्र एडवाइस करता हूँ जैसा की प्रीवियस स्पीकर ने बोला की योग और प्राणायाम की बात करते हैं कई बार क्या होता है कि एडीएसडी का बच्चा जो है वो योग करने में इंटरेस्टेड नहीं होता है या प्राणायाम करने में इंटरेस्टेड नहीं होता है तो हमारे लिए सबसे आसान टूल्स है कि हम घर में मोबाइल पे या फिर स्पीकर पे कोई भी मंत्र लगा करके रख दे जिसको जो मंत्र पसंद है गायत्री मंत्र पसंद है तो गायत्री मंत्र लगा ले महामृत्युंजय मंत्र पसंद है तो महामृत्युंजय लगा सकते हैं तो उससे क्या होगा कि बच्चे में जो माइंड का डाइवर्सन हो रहा है वो रुकेगा और वो रुकेगा तो वो पेरेंट्स को काफी सपोर्टिव हो जाएगा इसमें क्या रहता है कि पेरेंट्स का बहुत ज्यादा कंप्लेंट्स रहता है कि वो उनकी बात सुनता नहीं है उनकी बात मानता नहीं है फिर धीरे धीरे बच्चा जब स्कूल में जाने लगता है तो स्कूल में जो टीचर्स उसको पढ़ाती है तो टीचर्स उसको जो भी बोलती है उसको ध्यान से सुनता नहीं है होमवर्क देते हैं तो करता नहीं है तो इस तरीके से या तो बच्चा लेजी हो जाएगा या फिर ओवर एक्टिव हो जाएगा जब ओवर एक्टिव हो जाएगा तो दैट इज दुअर्ड्स ए डी एस डी तो ए डी एस डी और ऑटिज्म अभी भी चैलेंज बना हुआ है मेडिकल साइंस से और सभी लोगों का हमारे तरफ बहुत ज्यादा एक्सपेक्टेशन है कि आयुष के लोग इस पर कुछ कर सकते हैं और हम लोग डेफिनेटली प्रयास भी कर रहे हैं अभी मैं प्रयास कर रहा हूँ कि एक स्कूल ऑफ आयुष की स्थापना हो जाए यूनिवर्सिटी में मध्य प्रदेश की यूनिवर्सिटी में तो ऐसी जो चैलेंजेबल डिसीजेज हैं उसको हम स्कूल ऑफ आयुष के थ्रू अगर ट्रीट करना चालू करें अगर विश्वविद्यालय लेवल पर इन विषयों के लिए रिसर्च होने लग जाए तो काफी कुछ हमको बेनिफिट मिल जाएगा तो ऐसे कठिन कठिन सब्जेक्ट पर पवन शर्मा जी हमको बुलाते रहते हैं उसके लिए मैं पवन शर्मा और उनकी पूरी टीम को बहुत सारा धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूँ मेरी तरफ से कि जब वो बुलाते हैं तब कम से कम मैं थोड़ी देर के लिए तो वो बीमारी को पढ़ पाता हूँ वरना बिजी प्रैक्टिस में क्या होता है कि हम जो करते रहते हैं रूटीन में रोज पथरी निकालते रहते हैं तो हमने उसी में मजा आता है रोज एनीमिया ट्रीट करते रहते हैं तो उसी में मजा आता है रोज स्पॉन्डोलाइटिस ट्रीट करते हैं आर्थराइटिस ट्रीट करते हैं तो उसी की बात करते हैं तो हम दूसरे सब्जेक्ट को उतना 
ब्रॉडली या उतना डीपली पढ़ नहीं पाते हैं तो जब हमको पवन शर्मा जी जगा देते हैं तब हम कम से कम पढ़ पाते हैं उसके लिए बहुत सारा धन्यवाद उनको थैंक यू मुझे बुलाने के लिए समय देने के लिए मैं आज मार्केट में था तो इसलिए थोड़ा डिस्टर्बेंस रहा होगा उसके लिए मैं माफी चाहता हूँ बहुत बहुत आभार आपका बहुत बहुत आभार आपके सिर के पीछे से धुआं निकल रहा था वो मैं सोच रहा था कहाँ से धुआं आ रहा है पीछे से अगर बत्ती लगी हुई है अगर बत्ती लगी हुई थी तो आपको धुआं भी दिख गया यू आर सो की मैं तो मैं तो पहले सुगंध देखा फिर धुआं देखा तो आप देखिए वहां से आपने धुआं देख लिया अगर बत्ती का यू आर सो की नब्जर्वर गजब चुपचाप डर के मारे आपके वक्तव्य का खत्म होने का इंतजार कर रहा था कि पीछे धुआं कहा से निकल रहा है नहीं नहीं मुझे 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 सुगंध आ गई थी ये देखो यहाँ पे ये दुकान वाले ने धुआं ये लगा रखा था अगर बत्ती आप जिसकी पूजा करते हो ना उनकी तस्वीर भी लगा रखा है तो इस तरीके से आप देख लीजिए बहुत ही अच्छी जगह पे मैं खड़ा हुआ तो आपका आपका जो सेमिनार के सफलता का सूत्र है ना वो सब मेरे मेरे भी पीछे लगे रहते हैं ना सफल बनाने में उनको पता है की शर्मा जी जो करते तो थोड़ा द्विवेदी जी को भी तो फल मिलता रहे उसका जय जय हो जै हो द्विवेदी जी की जय हो थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू अब मैं डॉक्टर आशीष फड़के जी को सादर आमंत्रित करता हूँ मैं कल से उनको ट्राई कर रहा था डॉक्टर आशीष फड़के जी भी ऑटेज में एक्सपर्टीज रखते हैं और ट्रीट करते हैं वेलकम डॉक्टर आशीष जी स्वागत है uh let me confess that i am not the expert in autism though i have done little work in uh, mental disorders apart from other aspects uh sir ko question tha mera uh, ki prakriti versus uh, autistic children aisa koi kaam hua hai ya aapke sanstha mein aapne kiya hai aur agar hai to what is the observation so basically uh, i think i have just shared one of the article that uh, is there and uh, put in the chat box about the assess observation study on to assess the prakriti of the parent and the autistic child okay. uh, which has been done and we have just uh, shared this uh, particular link with you in the uh, shared that link with the chat box so the basic the thing is with the uh, what we observe basically is most of the time it is either the uh, vata prakriti or the kapha prakriti which has been linked and also we try to go little beyond not only assessing the child but also assessing the prakriti of the parents yes. also yes. and also we could see that there is strong uh, you know relationship of the uh, like if suppose there is a like no consensuous uh, uh, marriage if there is a strong consensuous marriage we could see that around Five to six percent. Like again, uh, we did a study on, like no, it was a, a very small pilot study on sixty uh, uh, diagnosed patients of autism, and try to see whether there is a consensus. And you could see that around twenty eight among these sixty had a history of consensus marriage. So this is a very strong history, which says that there is a genetic predisposition as well as there is importance of prakriti, especially as per our observation, it is vata and kapha which has been. Uh, seen as a dominant prakriti in these children suffering with autism and also various neurodevelopmental disorders okay uh, the other thing is like uh, and i'm sure you will agree with me that while dealing with these kind of cases particularly children i'm speaking about uh, they are very difficult to access with right in the first visit or second visit we can't expect them to even touch because they are as you rightly mentioned that the you know sensory perception is a question mark in most of them and unless and until we create that rapport that trust that faith uh, till then they don't uh, you know uh, you know they don't allow us to intervene with forget about uh, touching or examining but even eye to eye contact is not established uh i i do treat ayurveda with ayurveda i do treat with uh, mantra chikitsa i do treat with yoga chikitsa in all these uh, you know areas and certain types i am ms in psychotherapy so i do use certain other psychotherapies as well but then let us be restrictive to yoga and uh, uh, say ayurveda and mantra so in uh, mantra chikitsa what i found 
that uh, rather than going for any mantra arbitrarily can we focus more specific to more you know you know what we can say prototypes subtypes and how we can go ahead what is your experience then i'll share some of my few experiences yeah i think we have not gone very specifically about that but definitely like the omkara chanting the gayatri mantra mahamitunje mantra like hanuman chalisi no again we are mainly focusing on the mahamitunje mantra and the gayatri mantra what we are trying to do with we also did a like no animal model study actually mm -hmm. we uh, we uh, in, we specifically purchased a acoustic chamber to mm -hmm. do this particular study and then we did it on the mice and we just saw what are the different changes and uh, there was a significant difference in their uh, the anxiety and their behavior um, behavioral changes and also like the uh, especially the adaptive behavior was significantly improved when uh, it was done on this and we did it for 30 uh, days of the studies so that is why uh, to address the other question that we asked about how do you build the rapo so that is why we always ask the patients to do on an inpatient uh, basis because outpatient basis and doing for very short period time again in a very busy opd is sometimes we are yes. not able to give yes. them we always encourage them to come for at least 5 to 6 sittings in a year mm -hmm. at the gap of one or two months and at least stay with us for initially 10 days and then at least for one week or five days so this when we do this uh, i think we we were able to find more benefit rather than doing on a very you no know, like you no know, a split meal rather than a full meal would be always be beneficial and that is what we have been able to appreciate uh one of my uh, session which i have conducted for yoga therapists uh, recently and uh, on on a different topic not connected with this but the, while discussing over there uh apparently this particular uh, part also come in the discussion and one of the therapists who is uh, trained in uh, autistic uh, you know treating autistic children uh, with yoga therapy what she mentioned and which uh, partly i agree with her that when we are chant uh, you know making uh, you know listening to mantras or chants particularly then it is repeated it's a repetitive and in case of autistic children usually they are getting more accustomed or more comfortable with repetitive uh, activities so maybe that must be suiting to their cognitive uh, level and maybe it must be happening then i told her that i had a case who had uh, extrinsic crying extrinsic crying like the moment he will start crying uh he used to start crying around say 11:30 night and he used to cry till 3:30 4 o'clock morning and all pediatrician then neurophysician they have tried psychiatrists they have given whatever best they can give right and in spite of that uh, nobody was able to understand why that child is crying i have that video but unfortunately i'm not able to show it over here but in uh, you know some other moment i'll share it with you at least and then uh, he was with me for parallel therapy with ayurveda and he started crying in the clinic and we were not uh, sure what to do because patients are full outside and then there are other consultants i was sitting in a polyclinic not a separate clinic and then i said what to do and then suddenly i felt like you know uh, starting this chanting and there is one chant from krishna yajurveda there is a shanti part okay shatamana sutra uh, shatamana sutra and the moment we started that within no time that uh, child was completely you know stopped crying so we felt it is just uh, uh, you know by fluke then i said i am giving you this you kindly uh, you know uh, st start playing every night whenever he starts crying and then the second thing which i also uh, wanted to share that we ask them to uh, do dupana with our common dupan dravya ral and vacha and all you know haridra and all and that dupana and chant together we have uh, deliberately checked several times that whenever he start crying we started the recording within few seconds and that lady has sent me messages uh, sir within 32 seconds he stopped within 15 seconds he stopped and not one or two time many times 
so i just wanted to find out if now i don't have that number of cases of autistic children because i do practice all cross sections now so if you are having a specific opd or kind of arrangement can we do that giving separate group separate mantras and can we cross check and then come to conclusion rather than just saying generalized statement that mahamrutyunjay or gayatri or whatever so i think that can be a good project for giving to students also on a deva pashre aspect because many a times people they run away from deva pashre in a way right so if we can do that is one request second request is with regards to yoga uh, there is another experience uh, that one kid was coming to our center and then he was all the time running and i'm sure you must be aware of uh, and uh, getting experience with they are not able to sit also sometimes and then they he will run and he will not even come closer to you as a physician or a therapist and it took around uh, two weeks to make him get confirmed that i am a safe guy i'm not going to harm him so he used to come closer then touch me and go then third or fourth week he started having eye to eye contact and then when i took him and showed certain uh, you know yoga techniques and then he used to draw on paper and then he specify that i want to do this only and then he started doing that and then there is a great uh, difference in their in in his you know presentation symptomatology so even yoga therapy can also be classified with reference to uh, you know do, dosha dominance so that can be another interesting thing i wanted to even use uh, chakra therapy and hypnotherapy i am into hypno as well but then uh, that is not possible because they are not in a position that is not the right way that's what i presume and i have not gone ahead with but uh, once again thanks a lot for giving very uh, insights very valuable insights with reference to selection of drugs and the overall plan and i wish to communicate with you in future in person and i wish sure. to come down to your place also if so sure, please can, please can come, come sir and regarding uh, your suggestions it's very well taken sir and uh, we will be very happy and in fact uh, we did one study very recently one of the uh, post graduate study uh, which was done by one of our student uh, dr shishmita uh, again on this uh, uh, what we said as ayurveda sutta in fact mm-hmm. meda sutta And it was in a school, uh, uh, in a school going children. In fact, mm-hmm. so we had two groups of uh, kids. Like uh, we used to go in the morning at at uh, nine o'clock to the school, and they used to allocate the first period to us to have this. And we did it for this forty five days. So control and, study basically. Yeah. Yes, yes. Like no, a control uh, 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 control study of three hundred students and three uh, hundred who are not exposed is based on their. willingness to participate as well as yes. the yeah. assent that we are able to take from their parents also and we could see that there's a significant improvement in their uh, attention span concentration and their memory and also we also had taken their marks also in all the five subjects mm-hmm. and uh, the parents uh, was so happy that they have started taking it on a regular basis and we have recorded it in different languages and different tunes in fact it was we took the help of a professional to record that and then uh, we shared them and uh, we could find a uh, very uh, good changes in their overall uh, things and these are things i think if we are able to bring it on a very big scale up the study as you rightly suggested and mentioned i think we definitely would be able to help people with so many uh, non pharmacological because sometimes they put on so many medications and so many things. and differently this could be a great help and a great support uh, to people who, with sufferings a hey, alone omkar chanting also gives rise to a lot of uh, effect and the type of the way in which it has been chanted because om can be chanted in three ways basically o uh, one third and uh, makar two third then o and m half half and o two third and makar one third so i usually follow the uh, makar two third wala because that that gives the river you know that vibration and that uh, actually you, one can see the lot of uh, you know improvements uh, i think yes uh, that can be done thank you thank you uh, organizers once again for having such a wonderful uh, talk thank you thank you very much ashish ji swahaj ji thank you very much you have made the day actually mai ab 
क्योंकि संजय जी बोले हैं उनको दो पेशेंट तीन पेशेंट में उनने क्या किया है म्यूजिक से मैं मेरे भाई संजय त्रिवेदी जी को आमंत्रित करता हूँ संजय जी वेलकम संजय जी इज फ्रॉम राजकोट बड़ोदरा वेलकम नमस्कार सर नमस्कार नमस्कार जी आपके प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपीरियंस संक्षिप्त में क्योंकि ऑटिज्म की खत्म करके ब्लाइंडनेस पे भी हमको आना है तो मैं जरूर सुनना चाहूंगा आपने क्या यूज किया कौन सा राग या कौन सा मंत्र तो मैं जरूर सुनना चाहूंगा जी जी मंत्र में तो अभी जो ये दो विद्वानों ने बताया एक तो ये जो ओंकार का चेंटिंग है वो हम एक डॉक्टर पलान साहब जो क्लिनिकल हिप्नोसिस के बहुत मतलब जाने माने डॉक्टर है बड़ोदा में और एकेडमी ऑफ हिप्नोसिस के प्रेसिडेंट है अभी तो हमारा डिस्कस हुआ था कि ये जो साहब ने टू थर्ड वाला और बताया कि जो मकार है उससे अगर मन पे काम करना है तो मकार शुड बी लॉन्ग इन ओम चेंटी इट शुड बी ए लॉन्ग एंड ओ शुड बी ए शॉर्ट तो ये मैं कहना चाहता था कहना चाहता था हम जो म्यूजिक थेरापी हमने किया उसमें मैं मेरी वाइफ पुनीता को भी देता हूँ वो आपको एक्सप्लेन करेगी कि उसने क्या यूज किया था ऑटिज्म में बच्चों के साथ नमस्ते सर हमने है ना जैसे हमारे सेमिनार में हमने बताया कि हम फाइव एलिमेंट बेस्ड म्यूजिक थेरापी करते हैं तो एक लड़का था वो आठ साल का था और एक लड़का था वो तीन साल का था मतलब जो दोनों पर हम दोनों पे हमने ये काम किया ना तो जो आठ साल का बच्चा था वो लिखने में भी मतलब उसको कुछ अनशन लिखता था उसको समझ में नहीं आता था टीचर क्या बोल रही है और वो कैसे लिखना है क्यों तो उसकी बुक्स में भी ऑलवेज रेड लाइन रेड लाइन और टीचर भी उसको डांटती रहती थी पर वो आ, मतलब उसको समझ भी नहीं आया और वो धीरे धीरे लिखता है ऐसा सब तो यहाँ मेंटल हॉस्पिटल में उसको बताया तो उसको वहां के डॉक्टर्स ने बताया कि उनको ये ऑटिज्म का इश्यू है तो फिर हमारे पास आए तो हमने एक तो उसको म्यूजिक सुनाया और जो जो म्यूजिक था वो तबला और तबला उसके अर्थ एलिमेंट को मतलब स्ट्रॉन्ग करेगा तो वो स्टेडीनेस उसमें आएगा और दूसरा था आ, आ, सितार और उसके साथ था हार्प ये दोनों का म्यूजिक था तो वो वाटर फायर दोनों को कर रहा था टच तो ये दोनों उसके हमने एक क्लिप बनाई थी म्यूजिक क्लिप जो हमने तैयार की तो उसके साथ उसको आंखें बंद करके अ स्टोरी सुनाते थे मतलब विजुअल गाइडेड विजुअल उसको कराते थे और उसको बोलते थे कि आ, देखो बंदर है उसकी दुम कैसे हिल रही है तो आँख आप आँख बंद करके मुझे बताइए तो वो पहले तो नहीं बताएगा फिर मैं उसका हाथ पकड़ के उसको लेफ्ट टू राइट राइट टू लेफ्ट ऐसे बंदर झाड़ पे बैठा है और वो अपनी दुम ऐसे हिला रहा है मतलब उसको वो सेंसरी भी हाथ से बताने का मतलब मैंने उसको सेंसरी टच किया था फिर उसके सर पर ऐसे थप थपा के बोलते थे कि भाई देखो आपके सर पे जो आ, कैप है वो बंदर लेके जा रहा है तो फिर आप अपने सर को बताओ कहाँ है आपका सर ऐसे ऐसे करके हमने वो बच्चों के साथ मतलब ये बड़े बच्चे के साथ किया था और दूसरा बच्चा था उसको तो बोल मतलब तीन साल का था बोलता भी नहीं था चलता भी नहीं था कुछ भी नहीं तो धीरे धीरे उसको आ, वीक में दो बार आ, एक एक घंटा हमारे पास आता था और 20 मिनट हम उसको म्यूजिक सुनाते थे बाकी ये सब गाइडेड विजुअलाइजेशन ऐसा करके और ये सेंसरी टच करके हमने दोनों बच्चों के साथ किया था और सात आठ सेशन के बाद मतलब दो तीन महीने के बाद वो जो छोटा बच्चा था बोलता भी नहीं था तो अचानक से एक दिन स्टोरी सुनते सुनते उसने बोला बाघ आया बाघ क्योंकि मैं उसको टाइगर की स्टोरी सुना रही थी तो अचानक से वो बोल पड़ा बाघ आया नॉट क्लियर बट उसने बाघ ऐसा बोला फिर धीरे धीरे उसको छह सात महीने के बाद कुछ कुछ वर्ड्स वो निकालने लगा फिर फिर स्पीच थेरापी के लिए भी हमने उसको भेजा था ऐसे हमने ये दो बच्चों बहुत अच्छा सर बहुत अच्छा 
थैंक यू हमारे हमारे म्यूजिक थेरापिस्ट सर में एक लेडी है वो खाली ऑटिज्म पे म्यूजिक थेरापी करती है ओनली वन प्रॉब्लम कौन एक इन्होंने नाम मुंबई में स्मृति शंकर स्मृति शंकर ऐसा कुछ नाम है बहुत सारे मेंबर्स है लेकिन वो ऑटिज्म पे हमारे पास शायद होगा उनका सब एक वीडियो मैं आपको भेजूंगा मुंबई में चीज इन मुंबई हाँ सॉरी बेंगलोर तो वो खाली ऑटिज्म पे काम करते और बहुत सारे तो सुहास जी बता पाएंगे सुहास जी कर्नाटक में ही है अच्छा आशीष जी बता पाएंगे हम अगली वेबिनार में उनको जरूर जोड़ना पसंद करेंगे हमारा ग्रुप है व्हाट्सएप म्यूजिक थेरापी का उनसे मैं बात कर जरूर आप मुझे बताइए क्यों क्योंकि मैं नहीं अभी 18 तारीख को एडल्ट ऑटिज्म अवेयरनेस डे आ रहा है अच्छा एडल्ट ऑटिज्म अवेयर डे ये अच्छा। भी बड़ा अच्छा है ये मतलब मैं धन्यवाद देता हूँ पश्चिमी सभ्यता को ये चम्मच का अलग डे मनाते हैं थाली का अलग डे मनाते हैं कटोरी का अलग डे मनाते हैं तो ये हम लोगों को इन्हें अपॉर्चुनिटी इतनी दे दी है <laughs> क्या कहे हम कोई शब्द नहीं है हमारे पास तो ये थैंक यू हम लोग अठारह को जरूर मिले और उनको स्मृति शंकर जी को भी हम बुलाएं और स्वास जी तो हमारे साथ है ही आशीष जी भी हैं जय हो आप सबकी जय हो थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच मैं आदरणीय डॉक्टर वी के अग्निहोत्री सर से सर नमस्कार बहुत बहुत हमारे आज के जो गेस्ट स्पीकर से जिन्होंने ऑटिज्म के बारे में अपनी जानकारी दी उनका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद एंड वी आर रियली थ्रिल्ड विद द इंफॉर्मेशन एंड द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ अवर गेस्ट स्पीकर स्पेशली द आफ्टर डिस्कशन इन विटबिन डॉक्टर आशीष वटकर जी एंड डॉक्टर सुभाष शेट्टी जी दे मेड अवर डे विद व्यू दैट दे गॉन टू द डीपेस्ट ऑफ इट्स अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ द थॉट हाउ इट कैन बी परफॉर्म इन द टर्म्स ऑफ मैन मृत्युंजय मंथ जाप हनुमान चालीसा एंड ऑल शॉर्ट ऑफ थेरेपी एंड डॉक्टर त्रिवेदी ऑल्सो पार्टिसिपेट इन द इक्वल मैनर आई एम ऑल्सो इंटरेस्टेड टू कॉल डॉक्टर दिनेश कुमार राय सर एज ही हेज रिटर्न समथिंग इन द चैट बॉक्स दैट ही हेज ट्रीटेड ही इज ही इज बिलोंगिंग टू जोधपुर फ्रॉम सर राधा राधा कृष्णन आयुर्वेद यूनिवर्सिटी जोधपुर and he has treated some patient with uh, panchakarma and other diseases i would like to uh, invite him to share his knowledge in between we are shifting to our other webinars uh, so it is the right time when we can uh, have some information from him dr dinesh kumar rai sir you are most welcome you are invited please share your information sir namaskar my doctor dinesh kumar rai sir is an ayurvedic university from pg department of प्रोफेसर और हाँ, हर साल आर्टिज्म पर एक पीजी स्कॉलर को रिसर्च के लिए दिया जाता है अच्छा इस समय जो रिसर्च चल रहा है उसमें सरस्वत चूर्ण और अश्वगंधा अरे सॉरी ये जो है आपके सिरो धारा दुग्ध से अश्वगंधा चूर्ण और दुग्ध से वो चल रहा है आर्टिज्म का हम लोग जनरली मेडिसिनल थेरेपी और पंचकर्म थेरेपी देते हैं मेडिसिन में जितने प्रकार के चूंकि ये उन्माद का भेद है जैसा आप जानते हो एडीएसडी वातज उन्माद के अंतर्गत हम उसको ग्रहण करते हैं और आर्टिज्म को कफज उन्माद के अंतर्गत ग्रहण करते हैं लेकिन चूंकि इसमें वात विकृति तो मिलती है चूंकि मानस रोग है तो जो मेध रसायन आयुर्वेद में वर्णित किए गए हैं जैसे ब्राह्मी घृत हुआ अरे ब्राह्मी चूर्ण हुआ अश्वगंधा चूर्ण हुआ मुलेठी चूर्ण हुआ आपके शंख पुष्पी चूर्ण हुआ सारस्वत चूर्ण हुआ चूर्ण के रूप में इनमें से कोई न कोई प्रिफर करते हैं इसके अलावा कुकुटांड त्वक भस्म या गोदंती का प्रयोग फिर ब्राह्मी स्वर्ण योग और इसमें सागर रस बृहतवाद चिंतामणि और योगराज गुगलू इनका जो है आपके गुगलू और रस औषधियों में प्रयोग करते हैं फिर यदि आसव अरिष्ट देना है तो सरस्वता अरिष्ट या पेटेंट देना है तो ब्रेंटो सिरप देते हैं और आपके चूंकि विरेचन देना है बच्चा है हम अविपत्तिकर चूर्ण या त्रिकटु चूर्ण का प्रयोग नहीं करके त्रिफला या लग्जोरिट जो डाबर का आता है उसका प्रयोग करते हैं चूंकि 
वामन विरेचन का कौर भृत में निषेध है बच्चे को दे नहीं सकते तो अभ्यंग के बाद में हम पीपीएस का प्रयोग आपके महानारायण तेल से या प्रसाणी तेल से अभ्यंग कराएंगे उसके बाद में पीपीएस कराएंगे या सष्टिक सालिस वेदन का प्रयोग करेंगे मात्रावस्ती छीर वाला तेल से मात्रावस्ती एज के आधार पर देंगे और चूंकि मानसिक व्याधि है तो फर्स्ट स्टेज में हम पिचू का प्रयोग करते हैं ब्राह्मी घृत से पिचू किया उसके बाद में शिरोवस्ती किया और उसके बाद में शिरोधारा किया तो ब्राह्मी घृत से शिरोधारा कर दिया तिल तिल मिला करके और या तो ब्राह्मी वस्ती करते हैं तो इनका रिजल्ट अच्छा है अभी जो आप लोगों ने कहा मंत्र चिकित्सा हमारे यूनिवर्सिटी में चूंकि हम तीन प्रोफेसर हैं प्रोफेसर पीपी पी जी प्रोफेसर हरी सिंगल जी और मैं तो चिकित्सा का प्रयोग नहीं किया है अब चूंकि आपका बिमनार अच्छा रहा हम जो है हमको ज्ञान ही मिला हम जा करके और इस बार मंत्रौषधि चिकित्सा का प्रयोग करेंगे चूंकि मंत्र का तो अपन भी जनरली जानते हैं सत्वाज चिकित्सा के अंतर्गत सर नमस्कार सर सुनिए ऐसा था मेरी दूसरी वेबिनार का समय हो रहा है आपसे एक निवेदन है आप सभी लोगों से जितने लोग आज नए जुड़े हैं कृपया करके अपने चैट बॉक्स हमारे अपने कॉन्टेक्ट नंबर फोन नंबर मेल डाल दीजिए ये मेरा चैट बॉक्स में नहीं सर चैट बॉक्स में नहीं चैट बॉक्स में वो मिस हो जाते हैं मैंने अपना नंबर डाल दिया है प्रोफेसर शर्मा जी को दे दिए क्योंकि ये मेरा सौभाग्य होता कि हम आपको ऐसे गेस्ट स्पीकर बुलाते और मैं बड़ी विनम्रता से नहीं, नहीं अभी वो सर वो अभी सौभाग्य मिस नहीं हुआ है मैं सर को साधार आमंत्रित करता हूँ अठारह तारीख को मैं मैं इसलिए कह रहा हूँ कि आपके आपके आदरणीय वाइस चांसलर साहब हमारे प्रोफेसर पी के प्रजापति जी हमारे अपने है और जी मुझे जी जरा सा पता होता मैं तो हीरा की खोज करता रहता हूँ रात एक एक बजे तक हम प्रोफेसर पवन शर्मा जी कि हम कैसे ढूंढ लाए मुझे कल की रात याद है कि फड़के साहब को वो कैसे दोबारा संपर्क कर पाए ईश्वर साक्षी है कैसे किया होगा तो मैं पूरी जोधपुर विश्वविद्यालय को इनवाइट करता हूँ आपके सौजन से जिस जिस विषय के जो जो टॉपिक लेना चाहे तारीख के अनुसार आपको तुरंत अभी भेज देंगे अप्रैल का मैं चाहता हूँ जैसे जैसे हम बढ़ रहे हैं आगे तो तो उज्जवल हो के क्रम में हमारे और अच्छे मनीषी आए जुड़े और अपने अनुभवों से हमारी वेबिनार को अलंकृत करें जोधपुर यूनिवर्सिटी हमारी अपनी है हम सबकी प्रोफेसर आदि सिंह के वीसी हुए थे सर आप अपना हाँ, पूरा करिए सभी लोगों से विनम्र निवेदन है सुभाष शेट्टी साहब से भी फलके साहब से भी देखिये फलके साहब का हम गुणगान इसलिए कर रहे हैं द्रव्य गुण से एम डी गुण से एम डी आई स्पेशलिस्ट है हमें पूरा इनका पूरा बायो याद है और बहुत ही अच्छे सज्जन व्यक्ति हैं हमें इनकी पिछली प्रेजेंटेशन गजब है आ, हमारे साथ में श्रीमान जी राजेश देसाई साहब जुड़े हुए हैं अगर आपकी सेमिनार को चर्चा है तो शाम को लास्ट में ले लेंगे हमारी दूसरी विनायक विषय हो रहा है लेकिन इतना हमें धनी बना दीजिए कि अपने कॉन्टेक्ट हमें दे दीजिए प्लीज नमस्कार नंबर अपना दे दिया है उस पर यदि व्हाट्सएप कर देंगे फोटो डिटेल और व्हाट्सएप नंबर तो मैं डिजाइन बना के आपको तुरंत भिजवा दूंगा ठीक ठीक सर सर थैंक थैंक यू यू प्लान भी सबको भेज नहीं लेकिन हम लोग तो पीडियाटिक्स के बारे में तो नहीं के जो जो बच्चों और आर्टिज्म के इन पर हमारे यूनिवर्सिटी में हर साल एक एक बच्चे को पंचकर्म थेरेपी और मेडिसिनल थेरेपी उस पर रिसर्च होता है क्योंकि पहले जो वीसी साहब थे प्रोफेसर अभमनु कुमार जी और पीडियाटिशियन थे सहयोग हमारे गुरु जी गुरु जी भी रहे एनआईए से और प्रजापति जी तो फर्स्ट अपॉइंटमेंट उनका एनआईए में था बाद में हमारा सौभाग्य है कि सर वीसी बन के आए हैं तो उन्हीं का इनकरेज है और उन्हीं ने आज जो है लिंक उपलब्ध कराया हम लोगों को कि आप उस वेबिनार में भाग ले कोई बात नहीं दो दिन निकले हैं उन अभी हमारे पास 28 दिन है आप 28 दिन के टॉपिक्स में बींग पीडियाडिशियन हमारे पास बहुत है योगा फॉर किड्स भी है हमारे पास बहुत दिन मनाने के लिए आप और आपके पूरे टीचिंग फैकल्टी जिस जिस विषय के विशेषज्ञ हो बहुत ही आमंत्रित करता हूं मैं उनको जोड़िए हमारी पूरी यूनिवर्सिटी आपकी यूनिवर्सिटी हमारे साथ हो जाएगी तो हमारा एक हजार होने में और जल्दी हो जाएगी और क्वालिटी नॉलेज हम शेयर कर पाएंगे जो कि अनादिकाल तक हमारे यूट्यूब में बना रहेगा बहुत बहुत आपका शुक्रिया जुड़ने के लिए थैंक यू थैंक यू कंक्लूजन जी कंक्लूजन तब तक मैं 
तो आशीष जी जाइएगा मत अंधेपन पे है नेक्स्ट वेबिनार <laughs> तो ये आज बड़ा हम डरते डरते शुरू किए थे कि ऑटिज में कहाँ से क्या नॉलेज मिल पाएगी बट इट्स अवर ग्रेट प्लेजर दैट बोथ द मींस रेगुलर स्टैब्लिश्ड अवर गेस्ट स्पीकर्स मेड अवर डे राइट फ्रॉम प्रोफेसर शेट्टी जी टू डॉक्टर आशीष फड़के जी दे पोर्ड फुलेस्ट नॉलेज एंड विद ऑल द पॉसिबिलिटीज वी कैन मैनेज अवर किड्स सफरिंग फ्रॉम ऑटिज्म and also console their parents that uh, to which extent uh, they feel themselves safe to proceed with the any of the sufferings their children are having and give gave the tips for the next uh, attempt